Hey guys, it's Emily Chally here. So I have so many ideas for future videos that I have to do them once. Some some are gonna be done later today, so one's gonna be done now. We're gonna review a princess from the pony world. Miss Princess Luna. This is Princess Luna. Oh, uh, sorry about the lighting. I'm using natural sunlight and it's not really hitting one area. So yeah. But this is Princess Luna, and she is a very pretty alicorn. And I've only got the back of her box left. Here's the back of it, pretty Luna. And of course, this nice background scene. So the first thing I'm going to do for you guys is redo her information. So yeah, it says... In the purple box, Princess Luna can't wait to get dressed up for the royal wedding. She looks so pretty wearing a shimmering star dress and tiara. Okay. Now the pink box says, Princess Luna is a magical pony in charge of the night sky. Okay. Well, saying that, I am very impressed with this toy, this nice figurine of Luna. Now, let's talk about her accessories. First off, the tiara that is detachable from the pony's head it is Princess Luna's crown, which looks really much like the element of harmony for magic. Did Luna, did you steal this from, I don't know, Twilight? Next, she comes with four shoes that all look like exactly, sorry, I keep dropping things tonight, this morning. Um, that look exactly the same to this bright yellow one that you are seeing. Which also have the same star pattern as the tiara. She does have brets in her hair, but since I braided the, her hair, I'm not taking the brets out. Let me just take the rest of the three shoes off. And now let's talk about the glimmering dress. Which, the shoes are detachable, and so is the dress. This is the basic shape of the dress that loops behind her braided tail, that I braided too, goes under it. This part, it's really hard to attach and detach the dress. But let's just talk about Luna, and then we'll get back to that. Luna is a purple alicorn, like her sister Celestia is pink. So it's supposed to be white. Luna is supposed to be a little bit dark blue but instead of purple. But I think the purple looks fine with this figure. Luna's cutie mark c does come in during this. As you know, if you haven't seen any of the Luna episodes, go watch them on thehub.com or record My Little Pony. Repeats always come on. She did Lunar Eclipse, and at the very end of the part of Gypsy, it's Magic Part 1 and 2 of the series. Luna's hair, Luna's eyes are a nice blue green, and they're very pretty. Long lashes is very good. Wing design, um, I guess it's fine. I haven't seen really other wing designs of a Rainbow Dash and a Fluttershy. But the wing design is nice. The horn is a good size compared to Rarity, Luna, and Twilight. I have to say, overall, she's a nice figure, and they even give her a smile. Now let's talk about more how to get everything on and off this pony. Let's start with the dress. The dress is the hardest thing that you guys will put on this pony. So what we're going to do is you hook it behind the wing and then but you take it not behind, not in the wings, but over each side. Kind of like you're going near her back. And it just velcros with a little bit of velcro on the front. The tiara is probably the easiest thing you could put on her head. It's just over one ear, over the other, and it clips nicely on. Now we just simply put the shoes on, which can be hard for some children.
And now, from a casual day at the castle, to a nice ball like the gala, or even to a wedding, Princess Luna is ready to go. Now, Princess Luna is a bigger pony compared to another pony. All my other ponies I've got. Uh, size G3. I think she's about the size of them. But, uh, this is a very nice pony. I would give her a 10 on scaling. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, subscribe, give me ideas for future videos, and give me a thumbs up if you like me, and, yeah. Bye! See you later, guys! This has been an Image Hollywood production.